Merry meet and welcome to episode 12 of Kitchen Witch Table Talks. My name is Leandra Witchwood and we are continuing our series related to advice for beginners. Today we're going to discuss finding a really great teacher. This is important and I hope that you'll stick around and really listen to what I have to say on this subject because finding a really great teacher is critical in establishing yourself and moving yourself forward on your path. Now, a teacher is not going to be there to hand you the information. They're not going to be there to just tell you all the answers. A great teacher is going to be someone that kind of steps off to the side after relaying some pertinent information to you. And they're going to allow you through exercises, activities, um, journaling, whatever their style is, to help you understand and comprehend the information presented. Now, I know a lot of you, and I've been stuck in this too, complain that there are no teachers out there. Well, there are. They are few and far between because teaching is not easy. It is very difficult to take obscure esoteric knowledge and relay it to you in a way that is comprehensible and, and to help you apply it to your spiritual, magical, and everyday life. That's a difficult task and teachers can get very burnt out, especially when they feel unappreciated or overused. So keep that in mind when you're seeking out a teacher that this is not an easy thing for teachers to do. Teaching is not easy. Ask any teacher. <laughs> you have to do it because you love it. You have to do it because you are dedicated to the betterment of those who seek out the knowledge you have to share. So with that said, let's talk about how you can find a teacher in your area. Now, you can search out local groups. There are directory websites out there that are national that will help you kind of whittle um, teachers down into categories or within your location. Um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm looking for a new teacher is to join and participate in local groups and local activities, local events that are of like mind. So you could go to holistic fairs, you can go to festivals, you can go to um, Sabbath ob observances where maybe a group is holding a public circle. Then you can see them in action and you can maybe ask questions of their leaders. And I encourage this. I encourage you to ask a lot of questions before you choose a teacher. Another resource you can have is, of course, blogs and um, YouTube, <laughs> vlogging. Find people who resonate with your idealisms, that resonate with how you want to be taught, their style, their, you know, do you want somebody who's out there and very blunt? Or would you like somebody who's a little more reserved and maybe you want somebody who's very mature? Maybe you're looking for a crone. It's up to you. You have to figure out who you want to work with. And with that said, I also want you to take some caution with this. Unfortunately, in every religious and spiritual path, there are people who, they're not looking out for your best interest or the best interest of the community. They are looking out for their own interests. And this can reveal some very predatory, abusive, and negative behaviors and mindsets and styles of teaching. One thing you should always remember is to never ever be coerced, guilted, or manipulated into doing something you know is not right for you. Your intuition is going to be your best guide. Use it. Rely on it. If something is funky and doesn't feel right and it's off, listen to that. Make sure that you are taking time to really acknowledge the inner wisdoms you already have inside. A teacher is there to guide you. They're not there to tell you what to do. You already have all the wisdom you need for a magical and spiritual path. A teacher is going to be there to help reveal that, to dig under the, the dirt and muck of, of social conditioning and the like. They're going to help you reveal it, the true self that is within you. And a teacher who is not willing to do that, to work within your comfort zone, is probably someone you should go away from and find another teacher. Now, 
with that said, <laughs> there's also a time when you resonate very well with a teacher. You find somebody that just, wow, they are it. I've got to work with this person. That's when you really want to seek them out. You will want to work with them as closely as possible on any level you possibly can, because that means that they are right for you. Now, this might take a little work, <laughs> but if you are dedicated to your path and your spiritual progress, you will find that right teacher and put it out there to the universe, put it out there to your patron deities to help you locate that right teacher. Perhaps you are here watching this video because we are meant to be connected. That is up to you to decide. So be careful out there. Trust your intuition. And as always, you know, keep progressing, keep moving forward. The teacher for you is out there. He or she is waiting to find you. The time just has to be right. So with that said, I am going to leave you with that little nugget of information. I wish you many bright blessings and of course, good luck in your journey. Thank you for joining me.